चले लेट्स स्टार्ट ठीक है अच्छा फर्स्ट रिमेंबर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज ऑन रिएक्शन कैनेटिक्स ठीक है तो वो कह रहे हैं ड्रॉ कर्व ऑन द एक्सेस टू शो द बोल्समैन डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ एनर्जी ऑफ पार्टिकल्स इन अ सैंपल ऑफ गैसेस क्रिप्टोन रिमेंबर के रिएक्शन कैनेटिक्स के अंदर ना दैट्स प्रोबेबली द ओनली थिंग दैट यू हैव टू काइंड ऑफ रिमेंबर व्हिच इज द बोल्समैन डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन द बोल्समैन डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इज के अच्छा सो द बोल्समैन जस्ट अ सेकंड अच्छा द बोल्समैन डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन अच्छा बोल्समैन बोल्समैन डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इज कि उसमें ना एक एक्सेस पे देर इज देर इज द एनर्जी ऑफ द पार्टिकल्स ठीक है सो दिस एक्सेस ओवर हेयर दिस साइड इज द हाई एनर्जी साइज साइड एंड ऑन द अदर साइड यू हैव द लो एनर्जी साइड तो इफ यू हैव एनी कंटेनर थिंक ऑफ योर रूम देर लॉट्स ऑफ गैस पार्टिकल्स इन द रूम तो थिंक ऑफ योर रूम कि उसके अंदर गैस पार्टिकल्स है सम ऑफ द पार्टिकल्स वुड बी एट वेरी लो एनर्जी नॉट ऑल द गैस पार्टिकल्स इन योर रूम आर गोइंग टू बी एट एग्जैक्टली द सेम एनर्जी सम वुड हैव वेरी लो एनर्जी अदर्स वुड हैव वेरी हाई एनर्जी बट मोस्ट ऑफ दम विल हैव एनर्जीज दैट आर गोइंग टू बी वेरी सिमिलर If your room is at room temperature, that means uh, most of the particles will have a kinetic energy that would correspond to, let's say, twenty to thirty degrees centigrade. Uh, there would be very few particles that would be at high energy, and very few particles that would be at low energy. So, you have a proportion of particles or number of particles is axis per octet. So, this axis is the number of. so that's uh that's the number of particles or is your shape okay that's going to be skewed it's it's going to look something like this so remember low energy pe the number of particles are not going to be that much so the graph height would be less high energy pe the number of particles are going to be less as well so most of the particles will have average energy or they'll be around the average energy so jahan pe peak par rahe na that's that's your that's your average uh energy so that's what a typical boltzmann distribution looks like so on the diagram draw a second curve to show the distribution of energies at a higher temperature so what happens ki agar uh if you have your room and you increase the temperature uh what happens in that case is if you if you take everything to a higher temperature the high energy pe the number of particles are going to be greater so yahan se jo graph hai na that's going to rise and low energy pe the number of particles are going to be lesser to wahan pe the graph would become lower to the graph is going to shift to the right ke high energy axis pe the number of particles would increase low energy pe the number of particles would be lesser and wo jo average energy wali position hai na wo bhi aage ki taraf shift ho jayegi so the most number of particles are now at an energy that is that is a higher average energy so so the so the curve shifts to the right and secondly it flattens as well because the particles are now distributed over a much wider area so this is typically what you get in the boltzmann distribution ki wo pehle kya kar draw a boltzmann distribution uh, the same thing what happens if you if you decrease temperature so if you if you were to decrease uh, uh, the temperature to low energy pe the number of particles would increase and high energy pe the number of particles would would decrease so the curve would actually rise and and it would fall from the right ke high energy pe the number of particles would be lesser low energy pe the number of particles would be greater so you iske bhi zyada the typical questions are this so the next one is so is this clear ye saro ko clear hai aisha is this clear yes sir theek hai to uh to just remember high energy pe if you take uh, a, let's say particle in the room uh, to a higher temperature to yahan pe the curve would rise and it will fall from the lower energy side uh the next one is straight to assumptions of the kinetic theory as applied to the idle gas so idle gas pe there are two main assumptions one is that uh, they have negligible intermolecular forces
So that is number one. The particles are flying around in a gas and they're not stopping each other. They're not attracting each other, so the particles are randomly moving around. So that is what a typical gas behaves like. Up here, second assumption. The second assumption is that the particle volume is negligible compared to compared to the volume that the gas occupies. It is negligible compared to total volume occupied. by the gas which basically means ke agar ye gas jo that's that's in a balloon so most of it is just empty space particle ka apna volume that's negligible the particle is really tiny uh, but the total volume that they're occupying is going to be huge because most of it is just empty spaces there is two grams of krypton, so that's that's probably a PV is equal to NRT question. He's asking you to calculate the pressure. So how do you calculate pressure? PV is equal to NRT. That's uh, pressure is P into V is equal to NRT. That's NRT divided by V. All you have to be careful about is okay, you have to be careful about the units that you use. This should be in Kelvins, and the volume must be in meter cube. And N is the number of moles. So this pressure is calculated. Okay, uh, so pressure would be, okay, uh, how do you find moles? Two grams moles, that's going to be mass divided by, uh, divided by the AR of Krypton, which uh, which is what, which is uh, not really sure what that is, but we can open the data booklet. It's an AR of, so the AR of uh, Krypton is this one, is 36. Uh, that is what, so that is 36. So that is the number of moles into R, that's 8.31, into temperature, which is given as 120 centigrade. That's going to be in Kelvin. So it's going to be 120 plus 273. And divided by the volume, which should be in meter cube. So the volume is given in DM cube. So how do you convert DM cube to meter cube? You multiply it by 10 power minus 3. You convert it in the you What you have to do is M cube to dm cube to meter cube. It's divided by 1000. This is also divided by 1000. Can anyone do the math and tell me what the pressure is in Pascal? 36,287. 36,287. Pascals. Uh, yes. uh, but, but you're going to you're not going to write the complete answer because uh, the accuracy is up till three significant figures. So uh, this one is also accurate up till three significant figures. So your answer should be accurate up till three significant figures. So the proper answer would be three six three zero zero Pascals. You're going to you're going to round it off on the third one. Uh, your answer can't be more accurate than the value that's given. Did I explain uh, the so condition? Did you check the answer? Thank you. It's they're giving one fifty six. What did we do wrong? Uh, sir, the MR is eighty three point eight. Oh, Krypton? I just yeah, you said eighty six. No, no, it's 36 was a proton number. It's 83.8. Yeah. It's 83. We took that incorrectly. This was 83 point? Eight. Eight. So is this clear? So anyways, we're going to get, we're going to, yes. we're going to get this one. 156, 1000 pascals. Let's have the next one. Uh, just make sure don't make silly mistakes like this. I just stayed and explain the conditions in which Krypton behaves most like an idle gas. So remember, an idle gas, uh, when will a gas behave as a gas? When its particles are able to move freely in all directions. That's what a gas is. And they're able to do that at high temperatures. Because at high temperatures, the particles are energetic. So they can overcome the intermolecular forces that are keeping them together and they would behave as a gas. So that's one. 
so you have to state and you have to explain as well. So first thing is state high temperatures. Why is it going to behave ideally as a, as a gas? Uh, because intermolecular forces can be easily broken by the energetic particles. Can be broken easily. So for example, water behaves as a gas at high temperatures. Second is low pressure. Why low pressure? Because uh, at low pressure, there are two things that you can write. One is that at low pressure, the particles are really far away. So if they're really far away, I mean, that is what low pressure is. Uh, at high pressure, you, you compress things. When you compress, the particles become closer to each other. So this is the situation in low pressure. You're... And this is the situation in high pressure. So in low pressure, what happens is that the particles are really far away. So they, they won't attract each other. So particles are far away. And because of the distance, the intermolecular forces are negligible. because the attraction is inversely proportional to distance. Like if you bring a, a gas under high pressure, it will liquefy. Why? Because the particles would be really close to each other. And if they're really close to each other, they would uh, start attracting each other. So uh, for both, you can write this. There's another explanation for low pressure. And that is that if a particle, if gas is at low pressure, then particle volume is also negligible. Because a gas is always thought of as empty spaces with large gaps between the particles. So particle volume would become negligible. Negligible as well. So let's come and check a little bit explanation of what did they what did they write in the explanation part. So uh, what was this question? Just a second. 1B part 3, sir. B part 3, right? That's this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, a low pressure and high temperature, right? So, we that, that was one mark. And the explanation was that either the intermolecular forces are insignificant, so we wrote that, or the volume of the particles is negligible compared to the volume of the container. So, both answers are going to be acceptable in this case. So, we wrote both of them, high temperatures, low pressure. So either the intermolecular forces become negligible. Uh, so this is, under these conditions, gases would behave more like gases or any substance would behave as a gas at high temperatures and low pressures. Uh, the next one is uh, Krypton C. Singh used this information to complete the reaction profile diagram. So it's, a, uh, it's, an, it's, an, it's an endothermic reaction. So where should the products be? Higher or lower than the reactants? Higher. Okay, so it's, it's going to be higher. So products would be over here. And it's always like this. Uh, and you have to label this properly. So all arrows will start at reactants. One will go all the way to the top. That's your actuation energy. And that value is given. That's uh Whatever that is, that's, I mean, you can quote this value, it's plus 385, that's uh, actuation energy. And the enthalpy change of formation, which is this one, the enthalpy change of this particular reaction, is going to be this one. That, that is going to be delta HF. And I think that's, that's about it. It's just a two mark question. Yes, explain in terms of actuation energy and the collision of particles, how an increase in temperature affects the rate of a chemical reaction. So what happens is that if you increase temperature, then more particles will have energy greater than the actuation because they're using the word actuation energy. So you would have to refer to it in terms of actuation energy. So more particles will have energy greater than actuation energy. So 
So activation energy is the minimum energy that is required to start a reaction. So for example, you've got an N2 molecule, you've got an H2 molecule, that they're planning to react together. They will only react if they collide with sufficient force. Because the first step is, why do you need energy initially? Why is there activation energy? Because you have to get rid of the old bonds. They need to be broken. So every reaction has or requires a certain activation energy. The particles have to really pump into each other with a lot of force. Uh, wood does not burn normally. Why? Because the molecules in the air are not colliding with the wood particles that strongly. But if you heat it up, they start burning. Why? Because the particles are now bumping into each other with a lot more kinetic energy and they are able to break the old bonds and then new bonds are formed. So more particles will have energy that would be greater than actuation energy. So they'll be more effective because you have to refer to collision of particles as well. So more successful and so more so more successful Successful collisions are going to take place. And also more frequent collisions because particles have more energy. So they so there would be more frequent collisions as well because they will be traveling faster. I said uh, part to state how Cl2 is used in water purification. So it uh, it's a disinfectant. Uh, it kills bacteria. So, I mean, what, what happens is, I'm not sure if they're asking for the reaction as well. Uh, Cl2 reacts with water. And this is inorganic, so it, it, it produces HCl. Sir, and, uh, sir is going to chloric one acid oxidation? No, no, one mark. Oh, detail is not important. Definitely, uh, one mark that just kills bacteria. That's about it. Okay. So, no detail is required. But in the syllabus, it's not required. Okay. So, chlorine has the highest ionization energy of period C elements and A2Cl. Construct an equation for, so Cl gaseous state is important. A gaseous atom loses electrons. One electron. So, that is the first ionization energy of, of Cl. Explain why do the ionization energies increase uh, across the period? Okay, explanation. Why do they increase across the period? So, uh, electron distance in the nucleus or the attraction of the atomic radio. So, the main factor here. Why does it increase across the period? Nuclear charge. Nuclear charge. That's You have three protons. Fluorine over here has nine protons. So obviously, nine protons. They have the same shielding. Everything is the same. So, uh, yoga uh, across the period uh, you're going to have more protons or more nuclear charge uh, same shielding or same number of shells and smaller atomic radius although they have the same number of shells but because of the greater protons uh, the atom is smaller in size. So smaller atomic radius. Which is why there's going to be more attraction for electrons. So you have to write more attraction for the valence electrons. Except that there's going to be dips at group 3 and uh, group uh, 6. Is he scoring the thing? How is it divided? It's a uh, uh, similar shielding, increasing proton numbers. Uh, so greater attraction. From now, just remember, always remember. Okay, whenever you write, when whenever you answer a question about uh, ionization energies, they always give this one mark for just writing the fact that there is a greater attraction for valence electrons, e even though uh, that's that's pretty obvious. Okay. Well, that's a very obvious statement, but they always give one mark for that. Uh, I think Zala marks is good. You're writing more protons, same number of shells, and the smaller atomic radius, but 
But for all of that, they just give one mark and they give one mark for more attraction for valence electrons. So always, always never forget to write this. Yeah, vice versa, if the question is, if they're asking for why is the ionization energy decreasing, though you write the factors and end better, you always have to write, okay, because of these factors, there's going to be a lesser attraction for valence electrons. Okay, you clear about Sir? How did you Sir, your recent marking scheme care, sir? Yeah. Like your recent marking scheme care, like related up with that? Ah, because the old ones, the marks in them were distributed. Hota tha. What they would do was, okay, they would give one mark for protons, they would give one mark for, where did you wrote the same number? Now, look, his friend gave one mark. I mean, okay, proton, but similar shielding. He just gave one mark for the whole thing. And this is the, the obvious statement, I mean, the obvious statement, I mean, it's not obvious to write it. I mean, obviously the ionization energy is increasing, so so there is obviously greater attraction for new, for for the valence electrons, right? So make sure that from now on, uh, so complete answer So from now on, make sure that uh, always either write. I mean, depending on if the ionization energy is increasing, more attraction for valence electron. Uh, more attraction for valence electron uh, between nucleus and valence electron. That should be the statement. TK, clear? Yes, sir. But I can dip be explained, Karuna, that group six, there is a spin pair repulsion. And anyway, like in Pilikha, and so because of that, uh, there is lesser attraction between the nucleus and the valence electron. Okay, I mean, whatever the answer is, I just want to make this last bit in the middle. Okay, so this one is, uh, you've got show clear trends in the physical and chemistry. State, explain the relative thermal stabilities of the, okay, which bond is the weakest? Okay, HF, so they don't have to say it. HCL? HI. Okay. And it's the state and explain. So state, let's do it. Explain kya hoga? What's what's the explanation? Yeah, okay, this is the weakest bond, right? What what's the explanation? Kya hogi? So you can add in like a bada molecular to scale yeah like uh weak a weak one of all zombie. Or uh the van der forces ni you're breaking the bond, you're not talking about van der forces. Uh, electrons yes. are far because of shielding. Okay. Like, okay. 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 is a bigger atom. Okay. 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 Yeah. Since we, since, since we are talking about down the group, top, okay, down the group, the atomic size increases. So more shielding, right? I'm going to give a point out here. Okay. So more shielding. So less orbital overlap and longer bond length. So, oh. sir, is going cation or anion? Ki baat nahi karenge. Cation to hai nahi hai, to molecule. How? Okay. Okay, molecule. Na. So HI ka jo HI HI ka bond, why is it? Uh, one second. So why is it weak? Because obviously, uh, ID is a much bigger atom, right? So, so the so the shared electrons, there's going to be a lot lesser attraction for the shared electrons. So, or ye bhi yaad ke, uh, uh, when do they talk about intermolecular forces and when the intermolecular forces se kya hota? the state changes, right? Uh, thermal stability wagar wo basically bond tohne ki baat kar hai. Ke, uh, you're breaking the HI bond. Or uh, C part one. Sir? Huh. Why bigger, uh, bigger atoms have show, uh, less bond? Uh, less orbital overlap? What I explained was that it was simple. It was that the bond strength decreased. That's it. 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 कि बॉन्ड सेंट डिक्रीज क्यों हो रही है अच्छा आई आई जस्ट तुम मतलब ज्यादा एक्सप्लेन करते तो कोई मसला तो नहीं है उसमें 
सो द रीजन इज के क्या क्वेश्चन था कि हां मैं मैं ओला आपको एक्सप्लेन कर दूं ना कि इफ यू हैव अ बिगर एटम राइट तो ये आयोडीन का न्यूक्लियस है एंड आयोडीन आयोडीन सो दिस इज योर आयोडीन न्यूक्लियस एंड देयर आर 53 इलेक्ट्रॉन्स राइट 53 इलेक्ट्रॉन्स यानी वो शील्ड कर रहे हैं और यहां पे ना हाइड्रोजन है उसका न्यूक्लियस है उसके पास एक ही इलेक्ट्रॉन है ना अच्छा व्हाट हैपेंस बोथ ऑफ देम दिस ट्राई टू पुल ईच अदर इलेक्ट्रॉन्स राइट सो हियर्स योर हाइड्रोजन एटम एंड हियर्स योर आयोडीन एटम राइट अब मुझे बताओ कि इसका जो न्यूक्लियस है विल इट बी इंटरेस्टेड इन दिस इलेक्ट्रॉन क्योंकि वो इतना दूर है इट्स आई मीन इट्स अ बिग एटम इट्स गॉट लॉट्स ऑफ शेल्स 53 इलेक्ट्रॉन्स है 53 इलेक्ट्रॉन्स वैसे ही बीच में आए हुए तो शील्डिंग बहुत ज्यादा है ठीक है सो द न्यूक्लियस का जो इफेक्टिव न्यूक्लियर चार्ज होगा ना दैट वुड बी वेरी लेस तो वो उस इलेक्ट्रॉन को जब पुल करेगा ना अपनी तरफ तो वो इतना कोई स्ट्रांगली पुल नहीं करने लगा ऐसा बात समझ आइए यस सर तो बॉन्डिंग क्या होती थी सिग्मा पाई बॉन्ड्स वो एक दूसरे के इलेक्ट्रॉन्स को पुल करते थे ना तो आयोडीन इज नॉट गोइंग टू पुल द इलेक्ट्रॉन ऑफ हाइड्रोजन दैट स्ट्रांगली ओके सर गुड ठीक है अच्छा वापस पे आ जाओ के अच्छा हमने तो खैर वो वीकेस्ट बॉन्ड तो लिखा था हमने फिर हमने आगे वो कहानी भी लिख दी थी कि खोता क्यों है ये रिक्वायर्ड नहीं था लेकिन ऑब्वियसली वी डिड राइट द व्हाट वाज रिक्वायर्ड एज़ वेल as oxidation states is uh, you seeing the main sulfur containing product of each of the reactions in the table oxidation number of sulfur to pat ke nikalo what is hso4 minus 1 so h is plus 1 sulfur is uh, you don't know oxygen is minus 2 times 4 and everything well if you're doing hso4 minus 1 everything should add up to be equal to minus 1 or isko solve karo to x would come out to be plus 6 फिर इसको करो सल्फर डाइऑक्साइड सल्फर इज नॉट नोन सो सल्फर इज एक्स देर टू ऑक्सीजन सो दैट्स माइनस टू टाइम्स टू एंड एवरीथिंग शुड ऐड अप टू बी इक्वल जीरो सो दैट गिव्स यू प्लस फोर और ये इसके साथ करो तो प्लस वन हाइड्रोजन इज प्लस वन टाइम्स टू एंड सल्फर इज एक्स जीरो तो माइनस टू आता है Here we can explain why different sulfur containing products are produced when each of these halide uh, reacts with concentrated sulfuric acid. Why? Because you know, organic chemistry may be and group seven is related. It's important. Okay, what happens is that down the group they become better reducing agents. Or stronger reducing agents. Why? Because I minus one is a bigger atom. So bigger atom के लिए ना electron lose करना तो अच्छी चीज़ है. Cl minus one is a smaller atom, so it will not ion. It will lose electrons. Ah, uh, it will not lose electrons that easily. So NaCl table sort होती है. तो वो उसमें Cl minus one होता है. उसको अक्सर कुछ नहीं होता. उसको heat भी कर लो कुछ नहीं होता. Cl minus one does not like to lose electrons. वो बड़ा stable होता है. क्योंकि it's a small atom. वो अपने electrons को ना पकड़े बैठा होता है. I minus one on the other hand, अगर एन ए आई होगा ना उसको जरा सा भी हीट करोगे ना ना भी करो ना तो आई माइनस वन ना ऑक्साइज हो जाएगा वो इलेक्ट्रॉन लूज कर जाएगा क्योंकि इट्स वो भी जो हमने यहाँ पे पढ़ा था कि आई माइनस वन ऑलरेडी हैज सो मेनी इलेक्ट्रॉन्स कि वो बड़े आराम से ना इलेक्ट्रॉन्स लूज कर लेगा सो दे जस्ट बिकम बेटर रिड्यूसिंग एजेंट्स एंड ग्रुप सेवन के अंदर दैट्स समथिंग दैट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ठीक है उसको वो थोड़ा जल्दी से क्विकली कर भी लेते हैं कि वैसे नोट्स खुले हुए भी है इसके ऊपर बहुत क्वेश्चंस आते हैं रिड्यूसिंग एजेंट्स पे ऑफ ग्रुप सेवन सर हाँ जी सर इनऑर्गेनिक हुए इनऑर्गेनिक कहां तक कम्प्लीट हुआ कहा था लाइक तक कम्प्लीट हुआ है ग्रुप पीरियड थ्री ग्रुप टू कहां था नहीं वो तो क्लास में हमने पीरियड थ्री किए थे क्वेश्चंस ठीक है लेकिन मैं इधर कर देता हूँ ग्रुप सेवनटीन है ना ठीक है हेलोजन तो ये चीज याद रखा कि उस पर कोई ज्यादा है नहीं एक ही पेज आई जस्ट क्विकली गो थ्रू दैट दैट हेलाइट एंड आर अ वेरी गुड मीन दे रिड्यूसिंग एजेंट्स एफ माइनस वन सी एल माइनस वन बी आर माइनस वन आई माइनस वन देर ऑल लूज इलेक्ट्रॉन्स 
लेकिन जो बड़ा आयन है ना द बिगर दी आयन ठीक है मोर इट विल बी मोर शील्ड तो इट वुड बी ईजी मच ईजी फॉर इट टू लूज इलेक्ट्रॉन्स तो आई माइनस वन इज अ वेरी गुड रिड्यूसिंग एजेंट इट गेट्स ऑक्सीडाइज वेरी इजली इट लूज इलेक्ट्रॉन्स वेरी इजली तो ये बैठा दूसरों को इलेक्ट्रॉन्स दे रहा होता है ठीक है तो इट्स अ वेरी गुड रिड्यूसिंग एजेंट एफ माइनस वन और सी एल माइनस वन दे डोट लाइक टू डू दैट तो इसमें जो बॉटम टू है ना दे गुड रिड्यूसिंग एजेंट्स तो इसके ऊपर ना ये सारा था कि इसके रिएक्शन विद कॉन्सेंट्रेट सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड तो होता ये कि एन एस सी एल जब वेन यू रियक्टेड विद एस ऑफ फोर वट हैपन्स देर इज ओनली डिस्प्लेसमेंट नो रीडॉक्स कि बस वो होता है कि डिस्प्लेसमेंट होती है कि इसका जो एच आयन होता है ना पानी के अंदर वो उसके सी एल आयन के साथ मिल जाता है क्योंकि पानी के अंदर दोनों डिजोल्व हो जाते हैं और एच प्लस वन और सी एल माइनस वन अगर अगर मिल गया आपस में तो वो एच सी एल गैस बना लेते हैं यू गेट मिस्टी फ्यूम्स ऑफ ऑफ एच सी एल और वो दोनों आयन पानी से ना एच सी एल गैस बन के उड़ जाते हैं ऊपर स्टीम के फॉर्म वो स्टीमी से मिस्टी वाइट फ्यूम्स होते हैं और पीछे पानी में क्या रह जाता है सोडियम आयन और एसओ फोर आयन ठीक है वो पीछे रह जाते हैं सो यू ओनली गेट अ डिस्प्लेसमेंट रिएक्शन नो रिडॉस लेकिन जब डाउन द ग्रुप जाते हो ना आयन का साइज बड़ा हो जाता है बी आर माइनस वन आई माइनस वन आप बिगर आयन सो इफ दे आर बिगर आयन तो इट बिकम्स अ लॉट ईजियर फॉर देम टू लूज इलेक्ट्रॉन तो ये जो एन ए बी आर होता है ना ये क्या करता है ये बी आर माइनस वन जो है इलेक्ट्रॉन लूज कर इट स्टार्ट फॉर्मिंग बी आर टू एन एस टू एसओ फॉर स्टार्ट गेटिंग इट गेट्स रिड्यूस्ड टू एसओ टू बी आर माइनस वन इलेक्ट्रॉन लूज करता है और सल्फर को इलेक्ट्रॉन गेन करना पड़ जाता है और I माइनस वन के केस में इट्स इट्स अ वेरी पावरफुल रिड्यूसिंग एजेंट सो वॉट दैट डाज इज कि I माइनस वन खुद तो इलेक्ट्रॉन लूज करके I2 बन जाता है और वो फिर सल्फर जो है ना यहाँ पे एस टू एस ऑफ फोर में इट हैज टू गेन इलेक्ट्रॉन एंड सल्फर वुड आई दर्न इन टू एसओ टू और सल्फर और एस टू एस तो वो रिड्यूस होना शुरू हो जाता है तो ये चीज हाँ क्योंकि सी एल माइनस वन छोटा आयन है ना तो वो इलेक्ट्रॉन लूज करना नहीं चाहता जो यहाँ पे है ना जो छोटे आयन है ना दे डोंट लाइक टू लूज इलेक्ट्रॉन जो बड़ा आयन है ना शीलेड होते हैं ना सो इट्स मतलब वो डाउन द ग्रुप आयनाइजेशन है जिसका क्या पड़ा था वो लाइक टू लूज इलेक्ट्रॉन डाउन द ग्रुप इट बिकम्स इजी टू लूज हाँ तो ये दो इलेक्ट्रॉन बड़े इजिली लूज करते हैं ये टॉप वाले जो दो है ना दे डोंट लाइक टू लूज इलेक्ट्रॉन ठीक है इज आर क्लियर Yes, so, as a state, what is meant by disproportionation? So that is when the same element uh, gets oxidized and reduced. Oxidized. And reduced in a redox reaction. Yeah. अच्छा राइट इक्वेशन फॉर द रिएक्शन सीएल टू विद कोल्ड एक्वेस एनओएच ये दो भी इसका भी रटा लगाना है ठीक है कहां गया हमारा नोट्स कोल्ड एनओएच के साथ एनएसएलओ बनता है दिस इज ठीक है ये सीएल टू रिएक्टिंग विद कोल्ड एनओएच एनएसएलओ सीएल टू रिएक्टिंग विद हॉट एनओएच इट प्रोड्यूसेस एनएसएलओ3 इन दोनों का यू हैव टू मेमोराइज दीस रिएक्शंस तो कोल्ड के साथ इट्स गोइंग टू गिव यू डायमराइजेशन क्या था कि यू हैड एन एल सी एल सी मॉलिक्यूल And these are normal covalent bonds. And there's another AlCl3 molecule. Now Cl ke paas a lone pairs hote hain. Al ka octet is not complete, so they end up forming a dedip bond. Cl has lone pairs. Al does not have a complete octet, so they end up forming dedip bonds. So can I show all type of bonds? So label kar do. This is a normal covalent bond, and then there is a dedip bond between them. So, uh, sir, हाँ. sir, data bond के extend कर दे क्या data bond के extend कर देगी कैसे इनके बीच में data bond है data bond ये होता है कि AL की अगर electronic configuration देखो ना उसके outermost shell जो है ना three s 
और थ्री पी एक्स थ्री पी वाई और थ्री पी जी है ठीक है तो होता ही है कि ए एल के पास आउटर शेल में ना थ्री इलेक्ट्रॉन होते हैं तो वो क्या करता है वो तीन सीएल के साथ बॉन्ड करता है मतलब इफ यू इफ यू लुक एट इफ यू लुक एट दिस एल सो इट एंड फॉर्मिंग बॉन्ड विद सी सी एल एक सीएल के इलेक्ट्रॉन को इधर ऑर्बिटल में रखता है एक को इधर पुल करता है एक को इधर पुल करता है ठीक है तो ये दिस इज अमल कोवलेंट बॉन्ड दैट्स नॉर्मल शेयरिंग ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन मतलब उसने अपनी इर्द गिर्द से तीन सीएल के इलेक्ट्रॉन को अपनी तरफ पोल किया ये क्लियर है खाली पड़ा है when one atom provides the electrons and the other one does not offer anything in return theek hai al ko do electrons chahiye hai na it needs two electrons cl ke paas dher sare electrons pade hue cl has a lot of lone pairs to al ko do electrons chahiye so it can just go and share electrons with cl to usko yahan pe bhi electron fill ho jayenge theek hai is that clear yes sir Yes, sir. So that is that is what a dative bond is. You, you, in dative bonds, you need an empty orbital, and the other one should have a complete orbital, which means a lone pair. Okay, if I have an NH three molecule, so n ke paas ek full orbital pada hota hai. Like if you if you look at the n electronic configuration, it's two s, two p x, two p y, and two p z. उसके आउटर मोस्ट शेल में देर फाइव इलेक्ट्रॉन सो इट्स टू वन एंड वन एंड वन तो तीन ऑबल्स को तो वो फिलअप कर देता है इट इट गोज एंड अट्रैक्ट इलेक्ट्रॉन्स फ्रॉम हाइड्रोजन एंड फिल्स देम अप तो ये तीनों तो फिलअप हो गए वो एक ऑबल उसका भी फुल पड़ा है उसको इट्स कम्प्लीटली फुल इट डीड इलेक्ट्रॉन्स बट इफ देर इज समन हु नीड्स इलेक्ट्रॉन्स के एच प्लस वन बिल्कुल खाली पड़ा हुआ है ना खाली ऑबल So if there is someone that needs electrons, it can go and form a dative bond. So n के जो फालतू के electrons पड़े हैं ना, which are not doing anything, वो it can get attracted to those, and that would form a dative bond. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Yeah. Sir. Huh. So तो basically ये and nitrogen के पास फिर भी electrons पड़े हैं, hydrogen के पास नहीं है तो उसके जा उसके पास attract हो जाएगी. हाँ. गेन नहीं करेगा इट्स इट्स गोइंग टू बी लाइक अ कोवलेंट बॉन्ड अ शेयर करेगा सॉरी हां क्योंकि वो उसके पास इतनी पावर नहीं है कि वो इसके इलेक्ट्रॉन्स को खींच के अपने साथ जोड़ ले ठीक है क्योंकि नॉन मेटल्स दे डोंट लाइक टू लूज इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एन कभी भी अपने इलेक्ट्रॉन्स लूज नहीं होने देगा एन वो राइट साइड वाले एलिमेंट्स आर ऑलवेज इलेक्ट्रोनेगेटिव राइट तो एच उसको खींचने की कोशिश करेगा तो इलेक्ट्रॉन शेयर हो जाएंगे दे विल नॉट बी गेन बाय एच प्लस 1 इज दैट क्लियर Yes. Sir. I said name the type of reaction when AlCl3 reacts with water. So that is hydrolysis. Hydrolysis का याद रखें हमने last time inorganic में किया भी था कि AlCl3 का काफी vigorous hydrolysis होता है this one. The reaction of chlorides with water. NaCl does not hydrolyze; it just dissolves. MgCl2 पे थोड़ा बहुत very slight hydrolysis होता है. A little bit of HCl is formed. कि वो water में H plus one होता है और MgCl2 में Cl ions होते हैं तो some of the Cl ions and some of the H plus one they would join together to form to form HCl. लेकिन aluminium के case में the hydrolysis is going to be very very vigorous. इसको मैं उसमें भी दिखा दूँ एक second board पे हमारा जिसके अंदर वो detail मैंने कल भेजा भी था उसमें group में ना क्लोराइड्स का हाइड्रोलिसिस दैट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट के व्हाई डज द हाइड्रोलिसिस बिकम मोर वेगरस ये वाले सर डाने ग्रुप इंक्रीज करता है हां 
नहीं अक्रॉस अक्रॉस द पीरियड कि एनएसएल का हाइड्रोलिसिस नहीं होता था एमजीसीएल2 का ना थोड़ा बहुत होता है उसकी एक्सप्लेनेशन भी दी थी मैंने जस्ट सेकंड ये खुल जाए उसकी थोड़ी बहुत मैंने एक्सप्लेनेशन भी दी थी कहां पे गया अ जी था हां अच्छा ये हाइड्रोलिसिस था ठीक है उनके कलर्स वगैरह सारी चीजें ना तो एनएसएल मोस्टली रिजॉल्व्स बल्कि यहां पे लिखा हुआ भी है कि एनएसएल जो है ओनली रिजॉल्व्स उसके आयंस बस स्कैटर हो जाते हैं इफ यू डिसॉल्व मिक्स एनएसएल इन वाटर द सोडियम आयंस एंड द सीएल आयंस दे वुड जस्ट मिक्स अच्छा व्हाट हैपेंस विद एमजीसीएल2 कि एमजीसीएल2 का ना चार्ज ज्यादा हो जाता है इट्स इट्स अ प्लस 2 आयन तो वो उल्टा ना वाटर को अट्रैक्ट करना शुरू कर देते हैं और क्योंकि प्लस 2 है ना प्लस 2 चार्ज ज्यादा होता है तो वाटर को ना बड़ा स्ट्रांगली जब वो मिक्स होता है ना एमजीसीएल2 और डिसोसिएट होता है एंड इट मिक्सेस विद वाटर so the mg ion strongly attracts water molecules because water molecules are polar the water mein jo positive h hota hai na wo iske positive charge se na repel hota hai aur chance se ke wo toot ke na lag ho jayega it will form h plus 1 to thoda bahut na hydrolysis shuru ho jayega ki mg ions jo hai na wo water mein jo water ko ionize kar denge oh ion ko apne sath chhod lega aur wo h plus 1 toot ke lag ho jayega to which is why the solution would be slightly acidic thoda bahut hoga क्योंकि प्लस टू चार्ज है इसका एग्जैक्टली exactly, कि वाटर हाइड्रोलाइज हाँ सर ये एमजी के रिएक्शंस में एक वहाँ पे आता है कि इट इस स्लाइटली सॉल्युबल एंड गिव्स वीकली अल्कलाइन सॉल्यूशन हाँ एमजी एच टू ना लेकिन वो उसकी तो अभी बात ही हो जब तो मैं हाइड्रोलाइज एमजी सेल टू की बात कर रहा ह अब ए एल सी एल सी पे हाइड्रोलिस बहुत स्ट्रॉन्ग हो जाता है वाई क्योंकि एलुमिनियम क्लोराइड को अगर पानी में मिक्स करोगे ना और पानी में डिसोसिएट होके एलुमिनियम आइन बन जाएंगे सो वॉट विल हैपन इज दैट एलुमिनियम हैज अ वेरी बिग पॉजिटिव चार्ज तो वो वाटर का जो पॉजिटिव एज है ना उसको बहुत स्ट्रॉन्गली रिपेल करेगा तो सारा का सारा जो वाटर उसके करीब होगा ना उसका जो एज है ना वो टूट टूट के दूर रिपेल होता हुआ जाएगा ठीक है इट विल गेट रिपेल एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दैट a lot of ace person ions are going to be produced theek hai and it's going to be strong there's going to be strong hydrolysis it will be a very acidic solution to yahan pe uski uska wo bhi diya hua hai ke ke strong hydrolysis a solid precipitate is going to be formed and uh uh it's still ke fumes banenge to kahan pe gaya hamara acha wo jo tum tum keh rahe the yes sir वो तो ग्रुप टू के अंदर है कि मतलब एच टू थोड़ा पार्शली काफी इनसॉलेबल होता है लेकिन डाउन द ग्रुप कैल्शियम हाइड्रोक्साइड बैरियम हाइड्रोक्साइड उनकी सॉलिबिलिटी ज्यादा होती रहती है अच्छा नेम द टाइप ऑफ रिएक्शन दैट रिएक्शन तो सॉलिड प्रेस्पिरेट वुड बी फॉर्म्ड और किसका ए एल ओ एच थ्री का और एसिडिक सॉल्यूशन अब वो ऑब्जर्वेशन में आता है कि नहीं आता वो यू डिस्क्राइब व्हाट यू वुड सी तो मैं देख लेता हूं वरना इसके तो दो मार्क्स यू विल प्रोबब्ली गेट दोस टू मार्क्स अ कहां पे है फ्यूम्स का लिखा हुआ है और टेंपरेचर इंक्रीजेस सो एनी वन ऑफ देम अ अच्छा उसे एल सी एस यस हाउ लॉन्ग इज द क्लास हम इस टाइम लेफ्ट दैट्स एट मोर मिनट्स ठीक है ओके तो यहाँ पे एचसीएल के फ्यूम्स। शे दिस इज़ इन टू आर क्लास। अच्छा? नहीं इसमें एक सेकंड में देख लो कि क्वेश्चन कितने आते हैं। जब खत्म हो जाए तो हाँ पूरा कर लेते थे तो ठीक है। ठीक है। अब इस पे एक जो चीज से नहीं लिखी हुई ना मार्ग स्कीम है दैट इज इन दिस वन इन दिस स्पेसिफिक वन दिस हैज टू बी ट्रू बिकॉज़ ऑब्वियसली एलसीएल3 सॉलिड तो चलो ठीक है डिसपेयर्स बट अ सॉलिड प्रेस्पिरेट फॉर्म्स उसका उसने मार्क नहीं दिया उसने एचसीएल के फ्यूम्स का दिया हुआ है मिस्टी फ्यूम्स ऑफ एचसीएल दैट इज गिवन मार्क्स फॉर दैट 
I think it's probably going to be acceptable. Okay, that's also an obvious observation. Ligate seal fumes go some off the event. I said, next, next one, you've got this question, you've got 0 0.02 moles of element Z reacts with Cl2 to form 0 0.02 moles of a liquid chloride. So, uh, so 0.2 moles, 0 0.02 moles of Z reacts with excess Cl2. So here's the, here's the equation, Z, 0 0.02 moles, and it is reacting with Cl2 in excess. So we don't know how much Cl2 is reacting, but he's saying that uh, Z liquid chloride bana, so Z ka chloride bana hoga. So, uh, which is, I think they've given us the formula as well, Z CLN. And what are they saying? That's 0.02 moles, bana, which is obvious. Sir, what's the answer on the top? No, what's the answer on the top? Part 1. So he's saying it reacts vigorously with hot water to give an acid solution in a white solid. So uh, it's a liquid chloride. So it's a liquid. Uh, what could be liquid? And did he say that Z is period C or what? Did he mention Z anywhere? I don't think he mentioned Z. But it's a liquid. And when I thought it's liquid, what will Is it ionic or covalent? I mean, those are the only two possible options. The liquid, kya uh, possibly ionic. The ionic have high melting and boiling points. Like NaCl is not. Covalent. Okay, so so just by the fact that it's a liquid, it's going to be most likely. It's going to be most likely covalent. Ionic compounds always have high melting and boiling points. Uh, plus for hydrolyzed weaker, so. So that is an indication that it's uh, ionic compounds, strongly ionic compounds, they don't they don't hydrolyze most of them. How vigorous reaction. As I'm, anyways, this is the uh, calculate the value of n. You have to calculate the value of n. So the question is, okay, we know okay, this is 0 0.02 moles. I know that this is 0 0.02 moles. That's that's given over here. So what can say? So it says when excess of silver nitrate is added, 11.54 grams of AgCl is formed. So pehle to mujhe batao ke, uh, how many moles is this? Okay, how many moles of AgCl is formed? It's 11.54. Sir, what is the MR? A silver cup, that's uh 107.9. You can remember you have to be, and the other one is CL is 35.5. Yes, so the answer is 0 0.065. 0 0.065? Mm -hmm. 0 0.065. Uh, I got 0 0.08. I rounded it. Did he get 0.06? Maybe let's check out those counts. Five. Maybe let's see. I got 0.08. Oh, I'm going to check this. It's 0 0.0805. Okay. Okay. Oh, I added 35 twice. My bad, my bad. I said 0 0.08. 0.05, right? So you're getting 0 0.0805, right? Achha, so, yes. so the question is, if you if you have these many moles of AgCl, so how many moles of Cl lines do you have? It's going to be the same, right? Because AgCl has many Cl lines. It's, it's one Cl line, right? So, yes. so if you have 10 AgCl, then you have 10 Cl lines, okay, obviously. So, so basically, you have, I know that I have 0 0.0805 uh, Cl lines. In this solution. So, this means that when I mix Z ZCLN in, in water, so Z ka to mujhe pata hai, how, how, much, how many Z ions would be produced? Z ions will be 0.02. Because the number is given, and that's, that's one, right? 
सी एल कितने प्रोड्यूस होंगे सी एल प्रोड्यूस होंगे पॉइंट जीरो एट जीरो फाइव मतलब वेर वेन यू वेन यू मेड दिस प्रेसिडेंट वेर वर द सी एल आइंस कमिंग फ्रॉम द सी एल आइंस वर कमिंग फ्रॉम दिस क्लोराइड राइट जो कि पॉइंट जीरो टू मोल्स था उसी में से सारे सी एल आइंस आए ना जो जिसने वो प्रेसिडेंट फॉर्म किया सो ऑल दिस पॉइंट जीरो एट जीरो फाइव मोल्स आर कमिंग फ्रॉम दिस थिंग इसका मतलब है व्हाट इज द रेशियो के वन मॉलिक्यूल के अंदर हाउ मेनी सी एल आइंस आर प्रेजेंट व्हाट्स द रेशियो पॉइंट जीरो टू फोर सो द फार्मूला वुड बी वुड बी जेड सी एल फोर ठीक है तो ये कितना था पॉइंट जीरो टू मोल्स एंड आई फिगर आउट दैट इट्स प्रोड्यूसिंग पॉइंट जीरो जीरो फाइव मोल्स ऑफ सी एल सो दैट्स वन रेशो फोर सो वन मॉलिक्यूल प्रोड्यूसेस फोर सी एल इट कैन ओनली प्रोड्यूस फोर सी एल इफ इट हैज फोर सी एल सो दैट मींस वन मॉलिक्यूल हैज फोर सी एल ठीक है क्लियर है सारों को ये सुनो इज दिस क्लियर जी क्या कह रहे हो कि ये जो जो 0.02 मोल है दैट्स फॉर एलिमेंट जी सो इज इट्स इट इज मेंशन ऑन द टॉप नहीं इट्स आल्सो फॉर द लिक्विड क्लोराइड व्हिच इज जीसीएल एंड आल्सो इट्स द सेम हां मतलब पॉइंट 02 मोल ये और पॉइंट 02 मोल ये भी है लेकिन उस उसके अंदर तो वी नॉट इवन इंटरेस्टेड इन दैट ठीक है उसने डेटा दिया हुआ है कि आ उसे बस ये दिया हुआ है कि जो लिक्विड क्लोराइड है ना दैट्स पॉइंट जीरो टू मोल्स जेड सी एल एन ठीक है ओके अच्छा फिर क्या के दिस इज फ्री रैडिकल गिव द नेम ऑफ द मेकेजम ऑफ दिस रिएक्शन सो दिस इज फ्री रैडिकल सब्सिट्यूशन सब्सिट्यूशन अच्छा उसपे क्या होता था कि Uh, UV light was required. The essential condition UV light that was required in the first step. Because your your all the radicals that were produced were there. A radical is a very reactive species which is formed uh, due to homolytic fission when the bond breaks equally under UV light. And CL radicals are produced. CL radicals are basically atoms of CL. uh they need to make one bond cl needs one electron so it will go and attack a hydrocarbon and steal one of the hydrogens from it so it would form hcl so the carbon would be short of one bond now so carbon would become a radical the carbon radical would then go and steal one of the cls from cl2 and what will happen is ke carbon ko to apna cl mil jayega ek uske char bonds pure ho jayenge ठीक है, कार्बन रेडिकल वुड गो बट सीएल रेडिकल वुड बी फॉर्म वंस मोर और ये बस इसी तरह चलता रहेगा सीएल रेडिकल को अपने पॉट्स पूरे करने होंगे तो वो इधर से हाइड्रोजन को छीन लेगा तो ये फिर से रेडिकल बन जाएगा वो जाएगा वो किसी सीएल टू मॉलिक्यूल में से सीएल को अटैच कर लेगा सो गिव द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कन्फिग्रेशन ऑफ द सीएल रेडिकल सो दैट जस्ट सीएल एटम सेवनटीन इलेक्ट्रॉन सो दट्स वन एस टू टू एस टू टू पी सिक्स थ्री एस टू और क्या थ्री पी सिक्स सॉरी थ्री पी फाइव अच्छा आइडेंटिफाई द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ दिस टेप यस सर फिर रेडिकल के अंदर जो वो इलेक्ट्रॉन जब लूज करते तो फिर उसके इसके फिर रेडिकल लग गए ना इलेक्ट्रॉन्स वो लूज नहीं करता वो बॉन्ड टूट जाता है सीएल को एक इलेक्ट्रॉन चाहिए ना तो वो एच को छीन के अपने साथ जोड़ लेता है ओ वन सेकंड सर व्हाई इज इट्स व्हाई इज इट 3p5 17 इलेक्ट्रॉन्स है ना ये मैंने क्या गलत किया वन इज टू टू इज टू हां शुडंट इट बी 3p6 नहीं अ सीएल रेडिकल अ सीएल रेडिकल इज जस्ट अ एन एटम ऑफ सीएल ओके 
ठीक है एंड इट हैज वन इलेक्ट्रॉन लेस इट शुड इट शुड है सी एल इट नीड्स वन इलेक्ट्रॉन राइट यस यस सो सो रेडिकल रेडिकल इज नॉट समथिंग दैट हैज गेन आई मीन टेक एनी एटम सो इट्स जस्ट मोर रिएक्टिव इट्स द सेम एटम हां रेडिकल रेडिकल इज नॉट समथिंग टोटली डिफरेंट इट्स जस्ट एन एटम लाइक इफ आई इफ आई हैव अ कार्बन व्हिच इज मेकिंग थ्री बॉन्ड्स दिस कार्बन इज अ रेडिकल why because it should not be making three bonds because uh, it needs four electrons so it should be making a fourth bond so this ch3 is basically a radical why because because carbon is not making the proper number of bonds its outer shell is still incomplete is that clear so then it has one less electron no uh, well, carbon carbon basically has six electrons so the carbon in its outer shell has four electrons right like yeah. it's it's octet is still not complete like after making three bonds its octet is not complete it needs yeah, so it needs one more element so it could complete huh. its octet so huh. if we say that ch3 is a radical wouldn't and then uh, it, it, like any anything that has odd number of electrons is basically a radical it's uh, anyone who's not making the proper number of bonds Let's say if I tell you to write the electronic configuration of the carbon, which is a radical, wouldn't you write it as one less electron? Ha. Huh. Um. Then for chlorine, why did you put a seventeen? That is. Ni iska kya keh rahe ho? Kya carbon ka kya keh rahe ho? Ke. Ni sir, apne bola ke CH three is a radical, and a radical is in a, a substance which has like. Uh, which forms an odd number of bonds, right? Not an odd number of bonds. It has incomplete octet. Yeah. It's got yeah, sorry, sorry, incomplete. Oh. So like C needs four uh, bonds to complete its octet, but it only has three, so it's a uh, free radical, right? Huh. So then, if you write the electronic configuration of C, then wouldn't it be one less electron because right now it only has seven electrons, no? Uh, at the moment, it's got seven electrons because it has bonded, but it still needs one electron, right? Yeah. yeah. In its yeah, so, so they asked you to write the uh, configuration of C L radical. So wouldn't it be sixteen? No, it's not. It's not losing electrons. It's just that. Yes, I'm joking. Okay, C L. This is what C L looks like, right? It's got seven electrons. Yeah, yeah. That's a C L atom, basically, right? So that is a radical. Yes. I mean, this thing, this atom is a radical. Why? Because its outer shell is not complete. Okay, okay, okay. I see. ठीक है वो मतलब C L ने तो body एक बनाना था ना तो अगर वो भी नहीं बना तो that's ah yeah yeah. Uh, okay. I say even in the case if if it was just making uh it was still it would still be a radical if carbon was making. If there was another hydrogen missing, ठीक है, so this carbon would still be a radical. So anything that's yes, not... but now the carbon only has six electrons in its outer shell. हाँ, right? लेकिन लेकिन उसके चांसेस कम है. Carbon usually when it forms a radical, uh, this would be highly unstable because carbon likes to form four bonds. So it it yeah. would be no no I mean like as in let's suppose this happens then if they ask you to write the electronic configuration of this then you would write. uh it has like two less because it only has uh, six electrons right ha dekh is pe ha lekin is pe it's it's uh, they're not going to ask you in that way exactly kyunki when an atom makes a molecule it's neither gaining or losing electrons so you can't like even if if it's bonded to h you can't really say that carbon has i mean this cross over here is coming from h right so you can't really say that it has six electrons because a covalent bond it's neither gaining or losing electrons it's not like in like an ionic bond do you get my point yes sir so it's like they're not going to ask you to write the electronic configuration of carbon specifically like in this case kyunki yahan pe yahan pe confusion hogi ki kiske paas hai electrons is it with h or is it with carbon i mean you're not sure that's that's the sharing electrons right yes 
لیکن سی ایل کا کلیئر ہے کیونکہ سی ایل واز سپوز ٹو میک ون بارڈ اینڈ اف اٹس ناٹ ایون میکنگ دیٹ ون بارڈ دین اٹس ریڈیکل یس سر گیٹ ایٹ تھینک یو سو آئیڈنٹیفائی دی پروڈکٹس آف دی سٹیپ لیبلڈ وی ڈیڈ دیٹ اف یو وانٹڈ ٹو نیم دیم دیٹس ڈائی کلورو میتھین اینڈ سی ایل ریڈیکل نیم دی ٹائپ آف ریاکشن شون ان دی فائنل سٹیپ دیٹس ٹرمینیشن لاسٹ سٹیپ جو ہے any two free radicals can sort of combine together so that that's that one is termination phir hai ke suggest suggest the identity so of, whatever the question above this one part 4 wo ye dikhti hai ye ye ah wo is a theek hai ha ji so is kind of uh, propagation kind of your termination kind of and test possibilities hoti hai termination be usually okay termination may any of the free radicals that are combined in the previous step they can sort of join together ki ye ek bana hai aur isi tarah ka ek aur koi bana hoga they can combine together because ch2cl right and there is a CS, another ch2cl dono ke carbon ke bonds complete nahi hai so they can just join together and that would terminate the reaction they would no longer be a free radical theek hai So suggest the identity of another organic molecule that is the product of the reaction of CSTCL. So we can we can talk about this one. So say that we all product with all or any product like you, you can have more CL substituted. So instead of uh, two hydrogens, you can have one hydrogen and three CLs. Because the whole steps are going to be there. I will go through uh, quickly. I will just explain very very quickly. Okay. what happens okay let's say if i have an ethane molecule theek hai so what what exactly goes on okay if i if i have an ethane molecule to pehle step mein what happens is the cl radicals are formed right uh uv light here the cl radical form hua ab cl radical ko kya chahiye it needs a hydrogen so what it, what it will do is uske hydrogen kisi bhi hydrogen ko na apne sath jod lega so the first propagation step would be ki acha so the first propagation step would be ki ye ethyl ka radical ban jayega carbon ke bonds kam ho jayenge because somebody took its h aur wo h ke to chala gaya cl ke sath theek hai that's that's a propagation step پھر ایتھائل کو اپنے بانڈس چاہیے کیونکہ اٹس این ایتھائل ریڈیکل ناؤ سو اٹ ول اٹیک اے سی ایل ٹو مولیکیول اور وہ ان میں سے نہ ایک سی ایل کو اپنے ساتھ جوڑ لے گا سو یو وڈ ہاف وہ سی ایل ادھر جوڑ گیا اور سی ایل کا ریڈیکل دوبارہ بن گیا اب وہ سی دوبارہ یہی چیز چلے گی اب وہ سی ایل کا ریڈیکل دوبارہ بن گیا تو وہ کیا کرے گا کہ یو کہ ایک کلورین جو ہے نا دیٹ ہیز آلریڈی بین سبسٹیوٹیڈ تو سی ایل کا ریڈیکل دوبارہ بن گیا وہ کسی اور ایج کو اپنے ساتھ جوڑ لے گا سو دس کابن وڈ بیکم ریڈیکل ونس مور ریمبر اینی آف دا ہائیڈرجن کین بی اسٹولن بائی دا سی ایل اینڈ اٹ وڈ فارم ایچ سی ایل وہ پھر اگلا اسٹیپ وہی ہوگا کہ اب یہ ریڈیکل بنا ہوا ہے تو اس کو اس کو دا کابن از ناٹ میکنگ کمپلیٹ بانڈس تو وہ سی ایل ٹو کے مالیکیول میں سے نہ سی ایل کو اپنے ساتھ جوڑ لے گا اور یہ بس اسی طرح چلتا رہے گا ریپیٹ ہوتا رہے گا انڈسٹری وہ سی ایل آئے گا وہ ایج کو چھین لے گا تو یہاں پہ سی ایل آ گیا انادر سی ایل ریڈیکل از فارم ٹھیک ہے وہ سی ایل ریڈیکل آئے گا اٹ ول اسٹیل انادر ایج اٹ وڈ فارم ایچ سی ایل پھر وہ دیٹ وڈ بیکم ریڈیکل دیٹ وڈ So is this clear? Okay, the propagation step would just endlessly happen. Up here, last step, that's termination. Termination may, okay, any of these radicals can just, just sort of join up. Okay, let's go to this. Okay, so what was that? It was... Uh, the voice came? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. تو سی ایل کا ریڈیکل بنا ہوا دونوں کو ایک ایک بانڈ چاہیے دونوں آپس میں جوڑ جائے بس بات ختم 
So that would terminate the reaction. The reaction will continue as long as you have radicals. The reaction will stop or terminate as soon as the radicals are finished. So, agar, so yes. So shear shear ho sakta. Um, that is also termination, but when you write a reaction, you don't write that thing in the reaction. It can happen, obviously it can happen. But uh, reaction of information is forward direction. Mein likhte, okay? What's the new product that's formed? Is it clear? Yes, sir. And you can connect two of them. It can happen that all of them are CL substitute. Ho jai, wo propagation continues. Ye radical bana hai and there might be another molecule that would be a radical. This is how ethyl ke radicals are made. So they'll just simply join up that set. So that is the termination step. So that is uh, going to happen. Or here, uh, another product. So we didn't mention that. That's done. Clear? Agle yes, yes, compounds P, Q, and R have all found this is. Uh, the enthalpy change of formation of CO2 is given. Calculate the enthalpy change of formation of delta H F of P. P here. So P is this one. So he's saying that it's delta H F. And he's given us CO2 ka delta H F. And he's given us the enthalpy change of this reaction as well. Do you know the delta H F of O2 or not? No, sir. You know it. How do you know it? You also know the uh, sir. Yeah. Wo, o2 ko, o2 or N2 jo molecule hai, usko nahi lega shayad. Zero hota. Delta HF yes. of elements is zero because you don't need to form them. Okay. Remember, enthalpy of formation of elements is always zero. So if you know the enthalpy of formation of the products, and you know the enthalpy of formation of the reactants, what is the formula? Product minus reaction. Okay, so answer me, brother. So it's the enthalpy of formation of the products, which in this case is uh, uh, minus the enthalpy of formation of the reactants. Or wo answer ki equal. Answer me, brother. That's that should be minus two zero three six, right? So the product is four CO two. So what's uh, four into minus three eighty four, right? That's zero, N2 is zero. Uh, this one is uh, unknown. So that is, usko x le rete. Thikhe, ye hi figure out karna Or O2 is zero. So this should come out to be minus 2036. Can you find out what x is? Yes, x ki value? Um, 500? Uh, 500? Uh, that's what I got. So we'll check the things. Yes, sir. 500. 500, one second. This is this, it's this one. 500 plus 500. And explain the lack of reactivity of nitrogen. There are two reasons. One is it's got a triple bond. That's a strong, strong triple bond. Or uh, bond strength, very large bond strength. Plus it's non-polar non -polar as well. So the bond is strong and it's non-polar. It doesn't attract other molecules. Then you have, uh, you have Q forms uh, when it's in reacts with ethane. Ethane and Q are all... Uh, Weak Brasilauri acid. Explain what is meant by the term Brasilauri acid. So it's a proton donor. That's it. Costly ionized. Huh? Sir, what uh, chapter does this come in? Because uh, I don't think you took this. I'll, I'll just quickly explain that. So, I mean, it's just, it's just uh, one statement. That is, do you know what an acid is? An acid is a proton donor. What is a base? It's a proton. Acceptor, that's it. 
Anything that yeah. pr produces H plus one, that's an asset. Anything that accepts H plus one, that's a that's a base. Uh, they just add the term Broster Lowry because they're the ones who gave the definition. Is that clear? Oh, okay. Uh, okay. So th this is known as a Broster Lowry. Act. There are actually three definitions of what an asset is and a base is. Uh, one definition has to do with loan pairs that uh, an asset is a loan pair acceptor and a base is a loan pair donor. We're not going to use that definition. There's another definition, which is that it's an Arrhenius definition, which is that an asset produces H plus ions and a base produces OH ions. We're not using that definition as well. We're using the brossel lowry definition, which is that an asset produces H plus ion, it's a proton donor, and a base is a proton acceptor. That's it. So? Yes. So you two marks got this one, then the proton except for egg partially ionized will accept this out. No, 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 partially ionized ni yoga. No, you said egg second, partially ionized come over Carletto. Weak to nila Kavata. A chatika, evil up term. Weak. So you brossed it, Lauri Jura, what ye pala partner, that's this. Proton donor, that's it. But they had used the word weak as well. So weak killer, you were tika, worry about tika, you have to use the that it partially ionizes. Clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But if it was weak, that would, would have been the answer. Proton donor, that's it. Okay. So this is where it is written. It's a proton donor and it partially dissociates or does not fully dissociate. I mean, if it's weak, if it's weak, if it's weak, if it's weak, then it's you have to mention this thing. So now, ether and Nathan, uh and Q all contain triple bonds between two atoms. The triple bond consists of one sigma and two pi bonds. Draw a label diagram to show the formation of one pi bond. So HCN, right? HCN is this thing. Where do you think is the pi bond? Kiss the pi bond between the HNC or between the CNN? CNN. CNN. So all you have to do is, it's a sideways overlap of orbitals. So you have to show a sideways overlap of orbital. You can shade this. I think. So that's it. That's your pi bond. So you could you show how the MS does it? Like is your way acceptable? Because our school teacher did it differently. And hey, this one? Yeah. Like, if we draw your the way you did it in the exam, it's fine, right? Um, I mean, the, the reason MS does that is because uh, they probably don't have the tools to actually draw it. I mean, they don't, they just, I mean, the ones who are editing this, they're just using that, just show the electron density above and below, that's it. Yeah, okay. okay. I mean, yeah, okay. Well, I mean, they're probably just editing so, the whole thing in Microsoft Word or something. Sir, huh. so electron density ke above or below you like or like. Okay, that's what a pi bond is. Uh, sir, sigma me kya hoga? Sideways overlap of orbitals. Uh, oh, no, sir, wo electron density kaha pe like or the sigma me? Sigma me middle me ho gira ke exact middle me. Okay, sir. Thik hai. Mada wo exact middle me ho gira. As a P and Q can detect uh, can be detected in the atmosphere by infrared spectroscopy. I refer to absorptions and the bonds that correspond to these absorptions that will appear. Uh, so P and Q, what, what's P and Q? Uh, Q is this one. What's P? Q is this one. Ne, Q forms. Sir, above. Ne, P kira the P. Where's P? P is as a yamp. I said, so what's What's the question? Infrared spectroscopy. In, identify two absorptions and the bonds that correspond to these absorptions that will appear in the infrared uh, of both P and Q. Any donor uh, And you have to identify the bonds in both. The word data booklet colors can then appear to what table where's the table? Uh, data booklet. Infrared wala. So. Oh. 
سر اسپیکٹروسکوپی گراف سنی گیون کیا چیز اسپیکٹروسکوپی گراف جو ٹرانسپرٹنس والی گراف ہوتی ہے وہ تو نہیں گیون یا ہاں وہ بس کیا ڈیفائ کرو نا تو بوتھ اف دیم ائی تھنک ہیو سی ٹریپل بون ان لائک اف یو گو بیک بوتھ اف دیم ہیو سی ٹریپل بون ان سی ٹریپل بون ان یہاں پہ بھی ہے اور سی ٹریپل بون ان یہاں پہ وہ کوسچن یہ کہہ رہا ہے کہ دونوں کے اندر کون سی وہ کامن ابزارپشنز ہیں سو سی این وڈ اپیئر ان دس مطلب وہ وہی کہہ رہا ہے کہ گراف کے اندر نا مطلب کس پہ کیا نظر آئے گا سی این بون آئے گا بیکاز دیٹس ان بوتھ اف دیم رائٹ سو دیٹ از ون سو یو یو گو ٹو رائٹ کہ یہ سی این کا بونڈ ہے یو گو ٹو رائٹ کہ دس گوئنگ ٹو بی 2200 ٹو 2250 ویو نمبر سی ایم مائنس ون دس از گوئنگ ٹو بی ا ویک اپیئرنس اف پیک بیکاز اف دی سی این بونڈ کلیئر دیٹس ون پھر اور کیا چیز کامن ہے سی ٹریپل پوائنٹ سی یہاں پہ بھی ہے سی ٹریپل پوائنٹ سی از اوور ہیئر ایز ویل سو سی ٹریپل پوائنٹ سی اس کا دیا ہوا ہے یہاں پہ سی ٹریپل پوائنٹ سی یہ یہاں پہ دیا ہوا ہے الکائنز تو یو گون ٹو سی کہ 2150 ٹو 2250 دیس گون بی ا ویک اپیئرنس اف پیک ٹھیک ہے تو اس کا بتا دو گے ہاں تو کیا مطلب ویک ان لیس کانجوگیٹ So I identified two absorptions and the bonds that correspond to these absorptions that will appear in the infrared spectra of both P and Q. So what is common in both of them? Which will appear in both of them. CN in both of them and C triple bond C that's also in both of them. Okay. Is it clear? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Plus, it's conjugated to course. Pe hai nahi. Like, like I'll just... Uh, quickly tell you okay there's a pi bond over here right like whenever you have a triple bond there's two pi bonds actually here's another triple bond so that means uh there's going to be two pi bonds right so what will happen is if you have alternating double bonds or triple bonds the pi bonds they kind of mix up okay unka jo cloud error that kind of mix up, mixes up that's that's why you sometimes get delocalized electrons like in graphite اچھا اس کا وہ لکھ لیتے ہیں کہ کیا اس نے لکھا ہوا بس یہ لکھا ہوا دیٹس ایٹ سی ٹریپل ون سی این سی ٹریپل ون این یوز ایٹ ٹو کوڈ دا ویلیو دیٹس ایٹ کلیئر ہے بات اچھا سو وی ڈن ود دس دس از نیم دا ٹائپ آف ریئیکشن شون ان ریئیکشن نمبر ون سو ریئیکشن نمبر ون از لیکن واٹ ٹائپ آف پالیمرائزیشن like there's only one type addition, of kind addition alkenes alkenes undergo wo dusri wali hai nahi course mein matlab condensation is not it's in a2 theek hai so so that's addition polymerization draw the structure s the organic product of reaction number 2 so when you hydrolyze a nitrile what happens so if you just wrote polymerization would you get the mark i'll check like an addition polymerization is the better word uh needs addition polymerization you have to you have to answer oh, that have to okay i said dilute uh, acid that's acid hydrolysis the cn turns into carboxylic acid it becomes double bond o and oh theek hai to draw the structure of the organic product so that's all you have to do cn turns into carboxylic acid sir ha sir ye uske andar co2 plus h2 nahi aata is pe جو اچھا یہ ہم اس کی بات نہیں کر رہے سی ڈل بون سی کی بات نہیں کر رہے ہم نائٹرائلس کی بات کر رہے ہیں سی این ٹرنس ان ٹو کاباکس لکھا سر اف یو ہائڈرلائز ایٹ 
डायल्यूट एसिड एंड रिफ्लक्स ठीक है वो सीओ टू एंड एशो ना उसमें बनता था वो डबल बॉन्ड जब टूटता था कार्बन और कार्बन के बीच में सो दिस इज नॉट दैट थिंग ठीक है दैट्स अ दैट्स अ सीएन टर्निंग इनटू अ कार्बोक्स लाइक एसिड दैट्स इट क्लियर है यस सर देखो करेक्ट नेम टी नेम टी दैट्स अ प्रोपाइल अमाइन प्रोपाइल एंड एमाइन इसका थोड़ा सा याद रखना कि कि इट्स आल्सो रेफर्ड टू एज अ डिफरेंट नेम एज वेल जो कि शायद इसने दो नाम दिए अच्छा इज इज गिवन इट एज वन अमाइनो प्रोपेन एंड इज आल्सो गिवन इट एज प्रोपेन वन एमाइन ये मुझे नहीं पता कि वाई हाँ सर आपने कहा था कि जो साइड ब्रांचेस होते हैं पहले लिखे जाते हैं नहीं नहीं साइड ब्रांचेस है नहीं ना इसमें मैं एक्सप्लेन करता हूँ एक सेकेंड ये जो मार्किंग स्कीम में दिया ना दैट इज डेफिनेटली इनकरेक्ट लाइक इवन इवन इफ आई इफ आई नो वन कॉल्स इट माइनो प्रोपेन ठीक है वो आईओ पैक नो वन क्लेचर के गेस ठीक किया हुआ है सो आई डोंट नो व्हाई दे क्या था प्रोपाइल एमाइन ठीक है um so it's it's exactly the same thing this matlab har koi isko propyl amine kehta hai theek hai even iopac i mean because that's what it's based on so i don't know who wrote the marking scheme but they definitely got this wrong okay uh even propyl amine ke na amines ki naming hamesha iopac nomenclature mein aisi thi hoti hai to maybe uh चेंज नहीं हो गया कहीं रिसेंटली इसके अंदर एक सेकेंड एमाइंस डेफिनेटली कोई अपडेट हुई है इसमें वेस एमाइंस ऐसे थोड़ा सा देख लेते हैं असली इसमें तो दिया I I pack prefer I pack name me. Even latest देख लें आई पैक नोम क्लेचर फिर मैंने गलत लिख दिया आई पैक ये तो टोटली अच्छा उससे कह के अच्छा ठीक है वो अभी सर स्टार्ट हो गया पहले प्रोफाइल माइन होता था बट नाउ इट्स प्रोपेन वन माइन माइन किस पोजीशन पे लगा हुआ है सो दे चेंज दिस तो ये मेरे ख्याल से चेंज करना पड़ेगा माइन की जो नोमिन क्लेचर है ना दैट हैज बीन चेंज्ड ओवर हेयर इसको मेरे ख्याल से करेक्ट ही कर लो सर सर इट आल्सो सेस द प्रीफिक्स इज अ माइन So I think that is right as well. The which one? Uh, yeah, and see, we highlighted propane one of mine. Uh huh. The line underneath it. Ah, uh, the prefix form is amino. That is incorrect. Why? Because it becomes amino only if there's a higher presence group. Yeah, if it's alcohol, then. 
तो फिर हम इसको वो कहते हैं जिस अमाइनो एसिड नहीं होता कबोस्लिक एसिड एज अर प्रेसिडेंस तो वो जो नेम है ना वो फिर कबोस्लिक एसिड होता है यूज अमाइनो फिर उससे प्रीफिक्स लग जाता है इट बिकम्स अ ब्रांच ठीक है सर क्लियर चेन बन जाती है राइट तो जी लेकिन जो ग्रुप होता है या अल्कोहल ग्रुप होता है वो हाइड्रोक्सी और अमाइनो हो जाता है ना रिस्पेक्टिवली इसी तरीके से लेकिन कि अगर वो इफ देर इज अमाइन दर इज ओनली अमाइन तो फिर यूल कॉल इट प्रोपेन वन अमाइन यू वोट कॉल इट अमाइनो प्रोपेन वो सफिक्स चेंज होता है सफिक्स इज बेस्ड ऑन द हाइस्ट प्रेसेंस ग्रुप तो अमाइनो वो सिर्फ तब बनेगा अगर इफ देर इज अयर प्रेसेंस ग्रुप प्रेजेंट ठीक है क्लियर है बात आई थिंक इट्स इट्स दिस वन ओके मतलब जो करंट है ना उसके हिसाब से तो ये वाला है क्योंकि यहाँ पे वो प्रेजेंस का कहां पे दिया हुआ जस्ट सेकंड वेरी क्विकली कि प्रेसिडेंस ग्रुप्स आर दिया हुआ कॉमन ऑर्डर ऑफ प्रेसिडेंस एम आई जो है ना दैट्स राइट एट द बॉटम सो इट विल बिकम अ प्रीफिक्स इफ देर इज एनी वन एल्स प्रेजेंट क्लियर कि अगर कीटो ने एलियड है कॉस्टिक एसिड बिकम्स अ माइनो a minor would be considered a branch theek hai okay sir to ye mere khas hai propyla mine jo na that's old now uh this is going to be propane one mine that would be the more correct up to date current version acha baki ke draw the structure of the organic product of reaction number 2 wo to ho gaya hai c carboxylic acid uh name t what is t uh hydrogens getting added so either be h add ho jayenge either be h add ho jayenge so it kar do the propylamine ha huh? we didn't name t is propyl uh, propane one amine ha t is propane one amine what ho gaya na oh so this one is hydrogenation so the double bond would go away and udhar na wahan pe हो जाएंगे ठीक है सो दैट इज एन एडिशन रिएक्शन सो स्टेट ये कौन सा रिएक्शन था जो हमने बना दिया नेम टी अच्छा ठीक है वो तो सब खुद ही कर दिया था ठीक है टी कैन ऑल्सो बी फॉर्म बाई द रिएक्शन ऑफ दिस विदोनिया स्टेट द नेसे कंडीशन दैट इज एन एस टू डालना है एथेनोलिक एन एस थ्री ठीक है द चार्ट इज और वॉज ओवर हेयर सो इट्स दिस वन के अगर आपने हालांकिन That, that's nucleophilic substitution and it's the ethanolic and reflux the br will go away and ammonia will substitute substitute it sn1 sn2 mechanism hota hai theek hai clear hai yes sir aur yahan pe angles bata rahe what's the angle over here one no no theek hai 9.5 yahan pe 120. This is sp3 hybridized. This is sp2 hybridized. So 109.5, and the other one is 100. One hundred seven. Twenty. Uh, three pairs of bonds, right? Sir. Fan shaped. Sir, sir, sir. Three, three silver bonds and one five bond. No, but the pairs count. That's one pair. That's one pair. That's one pair. So this triangle is planar. Sir, sir. 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 Sir, sir
Was it Shapka? Yeah, okay. And this yeah, was, yeah, okay. This, was this was trigonal planar fan shaped, okay? Trigonal planar. Uh, it reacts with 214. 214 PSQ's test was Carbonyl. Carbonyl. So both of them are carbonyl, right? Both to not So this is carbonyl. Carbonyl. So state what you would observe, it would give an orange precipitate. I said tolens ke saath react karega tolens ke saath. This thing. Yes, sir. Alliates do get oxidized, TK. So tolens ke saath you'll get a silver mirror and a Sir, uh, ketone ka kya hoga? Ketone ke no saath reaction. To, no reaction na. But here, okay. Uh, no, sir, ketone ke saath like concert is. Don't be any difference, sir. Okay, agar idhar chau na. Ketone and aliate they both react with two for DNA. They give an orange precipitate, but. Out of the two, there's only alliates that actually get oxidized. Ketones don't. So, I mean, yoga is a test. Two for DNA pH. Yeah. React karo. Agar wo nahi kara, so, wo, if it doesn't get oxidized, it's a ketone. If it gets oxidized, it's an alliate. Okay. No, sir. So, a ketone ke like its region. Yeah. Yeah. Your test is like its your test. So, just say its tolerance is for it. So, it's not. It's not. Tolerance is also there. Uska be tolerance, but Uska reaction ni yoga, the reaction ni wato. It's a ketone. Acha baki hai ke state the role of CR2 in this reaction. It's converted to ethane when it reacts with the dichromate 6 ions. Though it's getting oxidation. Oxidizing agent. State explain any necessary condition for the reaction to be successful. So it's going to be uh, reflux and acidified. oxidized, So the aldehyde and the primary alcohol will both get oxidized. Or reflux But one of them is an aldehyde, the other one is a primary alcohol. Both of them turn into carboxylic acid, but they would only turn into carboxylic acid if you reflux. Uh, reaction will complete kinda. so it has to be reflux acidified and reflux that's the condition or uh, write an equation for the reduction of this to this H ke saath equation hai. so what is happening it's uh, oxygen to pure use H to represent an atom all you have to do is uh, you had one two three four and now you have 6H. So it's been plus, plus 2H over here. And that's it. That's your equation. I didn't know. Let's go check the link. Let's go and see. We have a 2H dollar. That's it. Okay. Okay. Yes, or identify a reagent for this reduction reaction. So you're reducing an aldehyde and you're also, I mean, that's it. You're not reducing the alcohol aldehyde. So what is the reagent reduction? Uh, NiAlH4. Ah, okay. NaBH4 is uh, there. Or LiAlH4 is there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, LiAlH4. Yeah, NaBH4. Both of them work. Um, also forms when an alkene reacts with cold dilute chemo for name A. So ethene, uh, that's a two carbon atom. So when will this diol form? It will form when you have an alkene or mild oxidation. So dono carbons, there would be an OH group that will get attached. So yeah. So that's it. Ethene. So the answer is ethene. Ethene. So the answer is ethene. Dials clear that OH groups will get added. If you have if you have mild oxidation, dials are going to be formed. Strong oxidation, the double bond would completely break and you will have all of these products forming. Okay. This paper is complete. Sir? Can you plot this um, organic chemistry worksheet in the group? Is it chart? Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, so bottom mechanisms we given it. I mean, it's basically just four or five pages. Okay. 
इसको इस साथ रखना कि यू कैन दैट्स ऑल यू हैव टू बेसिकली मेमोराइज ठीक है तो ठीक है आई एम सेंडिंग दिस ऑन द ग्रुप सर यू आर सेइंग लाइक इट्स सो लिटिल हां ये याद हो जाए जस्ट कीप प्रैक्टिसिंग क्वेश्चंस यूजिंग दिस एंड देन यू विल प्रोबब्ली अगर बार बार इसको यूज करो यू विल मेमोराइज ऑल ऑफ दिस ठीक है क्योंकि मोस्टली इट इज दिस कि वो नाइट्राइल था तो उसमें एसिड डाला है तो सो व्हेन यू कीप लुकिंग एट दिस यू विल इवेंचुअली लाइक बाय द एंड ऑफ लाइक 1.5 मंथ्स यू विल प्रोबब्ली मेमोराइज ऑल ऑफ दिस और मैकेनिज्म्स याद रखने के ये इनका यह ख्याल रखना है कि यू हैव टू मेमोराइज देम एग्जैक्टली द वे दे आर ठीक है एवरीथिंग हैज टू बी एग्जैक्टली चलो ठीक है चले ओके ओके अस्सलाम वालेकुम हाफिज